Alright, in this video we're going to see how Octane Render performs when on the new machine, which is uh, basically a, uh, it's got three uh, NVIDIA, or EVGA GeForce uh, GTX 780 Ti's, they are the ACX super clocked versions. Um, so let's fire up Octane and see how it does. Now I'm going to be using just the, uh, I've already posted a video before using uh, the demo scene so I'm going to and that was with uh, my home computer with one uh, GTX 780 in it um, so these are three 780 Ti's so I'll use the same uh, data sets so you can kind of at least get an idea uh, comparing the, the two so I'll start with the uh, uh, spaceships And uh, if you'll hear my fans kick on here in a minute, it's just because of the fan profile I've got loaded. So um, as soon as I click this scene, my uh, fans will start coming to life here in a minute. I've got a ton um, in this new machine that I built. So, But as you can see here with Octane, it um, reses up really, really fast. Uh, and this is with the aperture cranked up to 30. So if I was to crank this all the way down you'll see that um, I mean, pretty much most of your noise left over here that's is very minimal. Um, you can see underneath the shadows right here it will, and this is all with direct lighting, if I turn on uh, path tracing um, you'll see we're at 46 uh, and with, well I'm not at the same exact camera but you'll see that we're at 108-ish when it stabilizes. So. Uh, but this is with path tracing and with the aperture at 30. And you can see it's pretty responsive. I'll crank the aperture back up. Actually, I just dialed in at 30. It's rezzing it really fast, and this is uh, in the Boca, which takes usually uh, a good bit of time. But everywhere underneath here uh, is pretty much already done. Um, you can you can send a screenshot, you know, off to your sales guys to see uh, if, if they like the direction that you're going. Uh, really fast. I mean, it's really really fast. So let's open a uh, another scene. Uh, so let's try a different one. I don't know what is going on with Octane here. I, I had to change between screens here and apparently it's uh, not liking that. There we go. So as you can see it reses up really really fast. Get on the chest piece right there. Come back. Turn pad tracing on. 55. Oh. Actually, gonna be in the uh, no. Where am I looking for? Yes. A little desaturated look. Very fast. This is the instancing scene.
go to path tracing. Twenty six. And we'll do the Octane benchmark. Just because everybody does. So we're at eighty four with direct lighting. And about twenty two, twenty three, about twenty three um, in path tracing. You can see how fast that res is up, man. It's unbelievably fast. It's crazy fast. And we'll do one more. Probably the most intensive. And it's the screws. We'll do direct lighting. We're at 29. Pratt tracing. We're at 27. And one thing I do need to turn on is uh, my autofocus. The 3D effect going on. Anybody that's got 3D glasses, now's the time. I expect to make my freaking. Ugh, it makes me sick just looking at it. And just for giggles, we'll go ahead and do the hallway so we can say we did all of them. Thirteen on path tracing. So uh, yeah, that's it.